Good morning. Oh, was that a tremor? No, that was just me hitting the table. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late, but good morning. Good morning to you. How do you do? How do I say it? Good morning. Good morning. As my mother always says, if you go out late on a Saturday night, you can get up and go to church on Sunday morning. So whoever was up late last night, get on up. Good morning, Corinna. How are you? Because you can't just sit and lay in bed all day. You got to get up and do something. Oh, the number's increasing. 25 people are already watching. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, uh, Elizabeth Ann. I'm going to do what I can to get you. Wait, are you at school and watching this? Anyway, I hope you are. Good morning, everyone. Hold on. Crate and barrel. Waiting for them to send me something. Good morning, Christopher. Good morning, everyone. Ooh, I don't know. My pencil just got caught in my birthday chocolate. We're not doing um, cake today. I've been eating cake every day this week, so we're not going to do that. We're going to have a little uh, just a, just a hint of chocolate, like me, to celebrate today's birthday. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Gail. How are you? It's good to see you up this morning. Rochelle, good morning from um, Canada, Canada. Good morning, Larry. How are you? All right, everyone. People are up and listening. Good morning. Welcome to T. Oliver Reading. Wake up! It is Friday, the 13th of January. What? Hold on, what happened to my screen? Oh, oh let me do my scream again. Hold on, y'all missed that. We're going to replay it. Friday, 13th. <laughs> that was YouTube's white woman scream. So I saw that, have that for you. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Nancy. Working for myself now. Oh, oh, congratulations. All right, good morning, everyone. Okay, so that was, we've got, we've done our Friday 13th, so get up. I know it's a scary day for most people, always thinking something's going to happen. Don't walk around any black cats, not under any ladders, whatever else. Do what you need to do. I try not to worry about all those extra superstitions, because you know what? I got Jesus, and so do you. So if you see a black cat, tell her to get, get behind the Satan. We don't have time for that craziness. Good morning, Ryan. So good morning, Nancy. Everyone's here. All right, you know how, you know how we start this off. You know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Oh, why did I start so high today? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, 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 to you. Happy birthday, dear, from yesterday, Charles Brown, Brian Pataka, Whitney Ossentowski, Jason Hayes, Christine Badolio, Melanie Myers, today, Lucy Appert, Lucy, Jeffrey Hankinson, Laura Heller, Joey Dowling, Constance Howam, and Simon Fennick, Tom DiLorenzo, Aaron Accurso, Karin Plantadit, and Andrew Sotomayor, dear all of you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This chocolate from the Colony Hotel in Palm Beach is delicious. Yes, they put a chocolate on your pillow every night when you stay there. And sometimes you don't eat that chocolate and you bring it back home with you. Because at some point you're going to need to remember the warmth of, of Palm Beach and those palm trees and those sweet half price drinks at, at um, happy hour. Sometimes you need that. Yes, chocolate in the morning. That's what I am. That's going to be my new pitch line, y'all. Wake up with T. Oliver Reed. Get your chocolate in the morning. Ha ha. But we have one more birthday from yesterday. He's a very special man. I'm not going to tell you his age because I don't know, but it's Andre DeShields. So you wanted to meet the wizard, the original wizard from that original cast of The Wiz, that Andre de Shields. Hold on. Okay, this is too much entrance. Hold on. Come on, let me get to the good part with Stevie. That ain't it. Hold on. Where's the chorus? There you go. Ah! 
Andre. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Woo! Alright, that's enough for the birthday today. Alright, so behind me, today, thanks to uh, David LaShea for giving me the idea, Follies. Follies was the second Broadway show. It was actually, it was on Broadway because it was in the Belasco Theater. It was off Broadway because it was one of those um, roundabout work contracts that they don't want to pay you what they should be paying you. Making the same money as any other show and any other producer. Paying less because they're not for profit. They profited off of me. How about that? Anyway, at that show, that was the first revival with Bly Danner uh, and uh, Judith Ivey, Gregory Harrison, who I just, who just talked to me the other day on Facebook. Uh, Treat Williams and a host of spectacular women, women including Carol Wood, uh, one of my many angels, Miss Jane White. Uh, who else was in that show? Y'all know who I was in. Uh, IB, IMBD, what is it? IBMB, whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Broadway Database. Go check it out. You can see who else was in it. A lot of wonderful people. Hey, good morning, Dustin. Good morning, Kenny Green. Okay. Yes, not for profit. They, somebody is, listen, Jennifer, they are profiting off of me. You know how much money we made off of that show? Nothing. Nothing. Barbara Walters and um, Dominic Dunn, all these people coming up into it to see, see the stars. What do we make? Nothing. No, no, nothing. I got plenty of what? Nothing. That's what happened off of that show. But we did meet a lot of great people. I met Gwyneth Paltrow on that show. Unless her mother was in it. Her mother's wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry, that was dead air. We can't do that. All right, so this is where we are today. We've done the birthdays. We have to talk about what happened. There's no profit, like not for profit. You better tell that right, David Lachey. Um, Mr. Mr. Schoenfeld was right about that. All right, so um, we have to talk about Vice President Biden um, receiving the Medal of Freedom yesterday from President. Can I tell you when you saw the look on his face you all know this, like, well, you know you really trying to hold back a cry, and you look up like, don't do it, don't you cry, don't you cry in front of these people, don't you let them know this is going on with you, you ain't showing no emotions. That's what Joe Biden was doing. Joseph Robinette Biden almost fell out. Almost fell out. And I'm going to say it was, I'm going to say in the gold room, because I don't know what color it was and where they were. It was too much that it was overwhelming for him. Those two men, again, when I told you, when I said the other day that, um, President Obama was a solid man. Joe Biden, just as solid. That man is something funny and spiritual and just wonderful. I, I wish them both the best because, you know, we got seven more days, y'all. Seven more days. Good morning, Christine. Uh, um, yes, your sister-in-law was there, Nancy. Oh, we'll talk about Nancy, y'all. That's Nancy Anderson I'm talking to right now. She is also in the cast of Sunset Boulevard, the, the revival. What we'll call it the revival. Um, so uh, I will talk to her at 1030 or whenever I see her this morning about that. Because her, her, her sister-in-law was in the room. I may even do a short tape to show you all next week. Because Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we're going to do something special that day. So maybe that'll be the day we show a little tape or something, okay? As, as I said, seven days, y'all, seven more days of these two wonderful men. And as my friend um, Trip Hansen said, one of the things, the thing he's going to miss most is a complete sentence. You know, a noun, a verb, maybe a pronoun, you never know. It's those things <laughs> that we are truly going to miss when these two men leave office. But what we are going to get are apparently prostitutes and more lies and what, you know what, I'm going to leave that. We're going to leave that for now because you know what that, you know what that means? We're, we're pushing past this because one of the things that, hold on, let me, let me cue up the tape one more time. What my president, Barack Hussein Obama, the 44th president of the United States, the first black president of the United States said, is like, if we, we want him to succeed, and by him I mean Donald J. Trump, because if he succeeds, we succeed. So hold on. Hold on. We want him to succeed. He's not the person I voted for. And I'm going to go ahead and say he's probably not the person that most of y'all voted. You know that's right, Kenny Green. Ha ha. He is not the person that most of you all voted for. But let me say this. We got to get past this stage of mourning we're in. 
Trishel, it's been four weeks. It's been four months almost. Pull it together. We can't keep sitting around and sitting back like this for four years. One, you'll starve to death because you can't put a fork in your hand. And I know some of y'all like to eat. We have got to pull together. So whatever's going whatever's to happen, we're going to stand up for the United States. Maybe not for him, but for the United States. Because here's... Half the people in this country, well, not half, because only half the people in the country actually voted. But 24% of the people in this country voted for him. And the electoral colleges did as well. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to stand behind it. We, st we stood behind George W. Bush, y'all. Stop acting like we didn't. Stop acting like you did. And y'all know he must have hit somebody with a car because he was a drunk. Y'all, well, I, I guess I shouldn't say that because I don't know what's true. I mean, he was an alleged drunk when he was younger. Listen, Laura stood up behind a lot of stuff. That Laura Bush, she's a fine woman because you know she put up with some stuff. One, because he was, George W. Bush was fine when he was young. Did y'all, have y'all seen any pictures of him when he was in his like 20s and 30s? Oh yeah. Because you know Laura looked like a librarian. You know there were girls dropping panties left and right for him the entire time. Anyway, we can get past that. Next, and I feel like I'm doing church announcements today and I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all grew up in black church, you know what I'm talking about. If you are in New York next week on next Thursday, the 26th at 7 o'clock at the Joyce Theater, uh, Desmond Richardson's company, Complexions Dance Company, will be doing their gala. So if you have $200, go on to the gala. If you don't, go see him sometime later in the week. Um, so, um, church members, are there any other announcements today? Anything? Is there, let's, get behind, let's get behind the progressive movement. Let's unite the Dem Party. Listen, no, let, I hear what you're saying, Jennifer. Let's unite the Americans. Let's unite Americans. We got to get past this Democratic and Republican right now. I mean, listen, Paul Ryan is sitting up trying to dab this morning, trying to act like he's 20 years old. Paul, you weren't cool when you were 20. You weren't cool when you are 30. You're not cool when you're in your 40s. So please stop all this madness. You don't know what a dab is. I don't know what a dab is. So I know you don't. Stand up and do your job. Do as they, listen, as as they would say in the movie of fame, stand up and do your mother mm -mm job. That's what I need you to do. I need all the congressmen and senators to do their mother mm -mm job. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not standing up behind this as one party or another. Let's get the American people together. We have to stop this madness, okay? Ty, why are you putting up your, your what are you putting up? What are you putting up? I can't see what your post is. It looks like you're just, are you inviting me to a party? I'm like, boy, not today. Not on the, not on the 13th of the Friday, the Friday the 13th of January. The progressive movement is is into bringing the bringing in the Republicans. Yeah, but that means that they weren't invited in the first place. I hear what you're saying. I really do. Let's just bring us all together. Not somebody inviting somebody else. All showing up. Because if I'm inviting you, that means I'm kind of in charge of what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody need to be in charge. Everybody just needs to show up. Show up, and then we can all show out. But we're not going. We're not. We're not. We can't continue the way we've been continuing. I know people are still upset. Y'all, Hillary's on vacation. Barack Obama's about to go on vacation. He said he was not turning his alarm on on the 21st. So please don't try and call him because his cell phone will be off. He's not having you. He and Michelle are going to do what? Get it. They're going to have some drinks. They're going to have some menti, menti drinks. And they're going to hit. Listen, I know Michelle got, she's got, the, she's got, you know, those house slippers that people wear. You know, she got those house slippers just ready. And those, those good jeans. And that T-shirt, they are oh they're gonna be having it, jumping on sofas, having it like Tom Cruise did when he was on Oprah, talking about how in love he was with Katie Holmes. Hold on, let me see if I can get my all the way over there because you know that was a lie. Good morning, Andrew Lynn, Jennifer Vincent. You know I love you. Who? What, Ty, Ty, I'm Ty, I'm not clicking on no links. How how can I unfollow somebody on my own feed? Good morning, Will. I miss you guys. Hope you're well. Mwah. Oh, uh, where am I? Okay, y'all, I've done, we've done 15 minutes already. There's really nothing else I want to talk about. If you guys have any questions about something, let me know. I'm not, uh, we, listen, let's, let's, y'all, please pay attention. Wake up and stay woke. The Affordable Care Act. This is serious. You need to Google something. Go to the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, the Huffington Post. Go to any reputable news source. And read what's happening. Because y'all are about to walk by something and scrape your arm and get a bacterial infection 
and die because you will have no insurance and no way to pay for the $300 worth of salve that you will need to buy that would have cost you 15 cents before. That is all I'm saying. Look at what's going on and then do whatever you need to do. If you are a tweeter, tweet. If you are a phone caller, phone call and let your, repus your representatives know that you are not standing up for this. This is crazy. Crazy. Good morning, Matthew. How are you? See Span going blank in Russian TV talking. To <laughs> Nancy, you know, I, I I I know. Listen, over the past since since January 1st, I literally have gotten about 60, at least 60 emails for on going to my website, tlvarie.com, from Russian email addresses written in Russian. I'm like, First of all, why y'all why y'all interested in me? Y'all can't get Candy Spelling or somebody else. Email her. I don't want I don't want your emails. But whatever's going on, you know, this is serious. Now people going people are acting crazy, but y'all we need to we need to figure this out. Yes to the AC. How can you not how can you not rant about uh, this Affordable Care Act, y'all? This is going to affect everyone, everyone diversely, except your representatives. Because as long as, and as I've said this many times, as long as they have full coverage all of their lives for winning one election and their families, they don't care about you. They don't care about me. They're covered. That's all I got. We're going to figure this out, y'all. We're going to figure this out by Monday. Because Monday is who? Martin Luther King Jr.'s day. That I don't get off. How are you going to have a national holiday for somebody who did so much for civil rights and cha really changed and re helped restructure and reshape who we are as a country? And we can't even get a day off? Not a day? But I get Thanksgiving for, 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 for people coming over and killing the Indians and, and taking their maize and, and figuring out how to make pinto beans and, and, and an oyster dressing. I get that day off. We all get that day off, but we don't get the day off that really makes a difference in the lives of people in this country. People who are now consider, actually considered citizens. But you going to give me some dry turkey? Bump this. How about that? Big Brother's watching you. Big Brother's absolutely watching me. Big Brother, Big Brother, let me tell you this. Don't mess with me. Because if you listen, because you know I'm nice all the time. I try to be, even though Jeremiah said I was mean on my last uh, broadcast. But sometimes you got to be mean to people because you have, you have to tell the truth the way the truth needs to be told. And let me tell you this, big brother, come at me. Come at me. I will go at you like Sophia, like Oprah asked Sophia did in the color purple when Dana Ivy came up to her and tried to get her to go somewhere without her children. Hell no. What I say? I said hell no. Why does it look like I have on... um? Makeup today. That look. That line is something. It's just that that look getting a little crapey. That we gonna pull. We gonna pull that up just right there. That's gonna be something. Good morning. Hey, Lynn Price. Um. Good morning, James. Hey, Jamie. Good morning. Who else? Did I miss anybody? You left. I left you for. Uh, you left me a present on my feed. Oh, let me go figure out what my present. You know, I love a good present. All right, okay, so I'm glad you all are joining. Here's the thing. You all have got to get up right at 8.30. Even if I don't start like I did today until 8.31, you got to get up and be a part of this. Late is late. Whoever, y'all with, with the birthdays, y'all will be so happy with this chocolate today. It's so delicious. This chocolate is so good. Hey, Jamie, hey, James. Mm. Am I supposed to talk with my mouth? I'm full. So, last night... I went to sing, sing, it, this, sing it something at 54 Below, the 9.30 show. <clears throat> Find signs 54 Below. If you guys haven't been there, go get buy one of the cheap tickets. Wait till one of your friends gets one of those coupons that say 30% off. Then buy the ticket and go. It's a lovely evening. You should all go in and treat yourselves if you live in New York City. So I'm singing, and this older woman gets up to sing. Her name is Joan Copeland. She is the younger sister of Arthur Miller, American award-winning, Pulitzer Prize-winning, playwright, Arthur Miller. She's 94 years old. She had someone help her onto the stage and the entire time I'm thinking, she's going to fall. Her, her, her assistant put the microphone in her hand and it looked like the microphone weighed about 400 pounds. It's like, oh, this is not going to go well. 
And she got up there and she's supposed to tell a story about um, her being in Pal Joey. And she starts telling stories about Catherine Hepburn and Coco and blah, 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 blah. And uh, Scott Siegel's trying to get her back on track. And she's kind of all over the place, as, as is going to happen to all of us if we are lucky enough to make it to that age. Ross Patterson at the piano starts playing that song, and let me tell you, it all came back. Every lyric, that head tone, I literally was, I literally was in, just eyes just welling up watching her. Because you, you can't beat a show person. You, you can't beat, you can't beat God's giving. Like, ho, ho, ha, <laughs> I forgot. You can't beat God's giving no matter how you try. Ponder on that today. With everything else is going on, all those times you want to say thank you when something good happens or you don't when something bad, just say thank you for no reason today. Thank him for no reason. You know why? Because you're awake. Because the people who aren't, the people who can't get around on their own, getting back to her, though. When she sang that song, it all came back. It reminds me, a couple of years ago, I, I was one of the directors for Lincoln Center Theater's Director's Lab. If you all like directing or you're involved in theater that way, you need to go, you need to apply to this. Um, I can't take off Monday, Jennings. We're in rehearsal. And I shouldn't have to take it off. It should be off. It should... It should be a holiday, like a real holiday. Ain't fitting. It just ain't fitting. I'm gonna get Easter Monday off, but not Martin Luther King Jr. Day. If that ain't crazy. Anyway, so this, like this Joan Copeland, look her up. She's done, she's done so much stuff. But I got to meet um, Edward Albee at Lincoln Center Theater. And he came in in a wheelchair. And I have to tell you, it was one of those things, it was just like, he was so feeble and frail, and his, his assistant was talking for him the entire time. And it, we were all looking like, well, he's not gonna make it. He, I mean, he's not gonna make it out of here today. This man, some, someone asked him a question, and he focused in a way and lit up and smiled and told stories of all these things like I have never seen before. It is, it was the most miraculous thing. These are show people. Y'all, you can be, back can be spasming. I pinched my neck last, a nerve in my neck last night just warming up to sing at this thing. Pinched a nerve in my neck, but y'all wouldn't have known it while I was singing. I was chirping. Chirping. What they call it? Singing for the blood. The blood. B L O O D. T. Blood. That's right. You, you, you can't be God-given no matter how you try. You can't. Y'all need to know this. Ooh, let me, hold on, let me. No, I don't have, we don't have time to pull up a song because I got I have stuff to do. I have, listen, I've got to brush my teeth, eat something, pack a bag, and get to work. I have already been on for 25 minutes. I love you all. Enjoy your weekend. It's going to, I hope it's beautiful wherever you are because it's going to be beautiful inside your hearts. Share what you got to everybody else. I will see you Monday morning. I'm going to try and do this video with Nancy today. We may be on location on Monday. We will see because I don't, I don't know where I'm going to be. Like I said, it should be a holiday. So I may, I may holiday around and locate people and just scream at people on the streets. You never know. Anyway, I love you all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Wake up.